a mouse? I need a mouse. Can catch a mouse? Heck yeah. I saw it on a TV show once, guys ate mice to survive. I want to try to find, I want to, I want to try to catch a mouse and eat it. I want to make it in a trap like I saw in a lung. I want to catch it in a trap. We'll, we'll do it. Tell you deadfall trap. <laughs> setting up the 10 man arctic tent right here we're gonna be able to look out the front door to our poles to this deep eddy any luck big old blue cat will be down there you come up and oh, like some chicken please time to put up the tent.
first five -all. Oh yeah, you got to do, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that hair's gone, he's good. Um, now we, oh yeah, you got him cooked. Oh yeah, um, let's throw him in the pan. Or were you just going to smoke him? Okay, you, you, just how long has he been on there? This whole time. But I mean, when you run there, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't doesn't take very long to cook a little piece like that. I'd put I would try to get him a little slower heat. For yeah. Low yeah. lower slow. Can you move him like over to? The, yeah, I was about like thirty. Yeah. That's yeah. a good looking mouse. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat it. So you're gonna eat the head? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good part. Yeah. I'm still gonna do it on TV. No Probably. Uh, carpentry skills. We got a gun rack. We got lanterns. We got our table. <laughs> yeah, there's a piece of mouse that uh, I would say is pretty, I would say, mate, approaching well done. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. That's probably the best way to eat them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charred, uh, little charred, little charred hair. Yeah, little charred. <laughs> I think what I would have tried to do is take them and dangle them in the uh, fire for just a little bit, and then like scrape them with a knife or something. Yeah, get through the hair yeah. off. That'd be yeah. probably better. Yeah. Lessons learned. Cook yeah. Your mouse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's first time for everything. I. Yeah, I just kind of just singed it off. Yeah. You put them in the flames and singe it off all the hair. All right. It all eats. I like chicken. Yeah, it is. Pretty good. I'm not going to eat the skin on that one. Ah. Yeah. That is pretty good. Not I mean, bad. honestly, that's tender. Yeah. Dude, if you're out 
on that show, I could definitely eat. I would have preferred cooking them a little lower heat, a little longer, I think. Yeah, yeah. But, but just to be sure. <laughs> well, lower heat, longer, I think, would give it more time to soften the bones without yeah. drying it out a lot. Yeah. But not bad. Yeah. Not well, bad. Now we've eaten a mouse. I like the crunchiness. I yeah, did. I did too, actually. Yeah, it was kind of nice. nice. It wasn't bad. Yeah. It was actually kind of, kind of, kind of pleasant. Oh, it crunched. It's good, man. Well, it's no mouse, but it's pretty good. What's <laughs> hard to beat? I couldn't resist this if I was a mouse. I'm not a mouse and I can't resist it. It's gotta work. Why am I trying to catch mice? I don't know. 
use them as bait. Or I can make a nice stir fry with them. I've got brown rice and white rice. Here's the bucket, buried in the ground, filled with dinner, a hole cut in the center, any luck, mouse walks up, ah! falls in, and he's bait tomorrow. this morning.
do not anticipate any fish, for I have no signs that anything has been biting. But there's probably cabbage on the line. We can have a nice uh, salad for dinner made of uh, tannic leaves. Uh -huh. Or perhaps there is an amazing mighty catfish with butt on our hook. I do not think that is likely though. Fish is so big. It would make a cool. Night two. Day's been a little bit uh, cold, uh, but dinner's been good. We got shrimps, St. Elmo's, some candlelight, <laughs> some wine. This is naturally what two men do when they're camping together. <laughs> But it's like it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's like 22 degrees out, and there's been nonstop 30 mile an hour. I don't know, 20 mile an hour to 20 to 30 mile an hour winds all day. It is a miserable to step outside. So we were like, screw it. What's some net stand up comedy? We got we got the TV mounted up here on the on the center post. We're cooking a rabbit over here on the wood burner. We got rabbit cooking on the wood burner. Do a little slow cooking. Living it up. <laughs> oh, look at these beautiful, beautiful lobster tails. There's dinner. Lobster. And we've got porterhouse steaks. Going on the grill. <coughs> Remember, when cooking on an open fire, there's still allow plenty of oxygen into the fire and it's to create adequate heat. You also want to make sure not to overcook the meat as a porterhouse is a delicate cat, <coughs> one that does not require slow cooking. As you can see, we'll be using rather high heat this evening to attain a searing effect. I'll go ahead and place it first. Pull the house on the no. Will you place this guy onto the wood burner inside? Sure, give me those hot potatoes. And then we'll place the lobster tails on a slightly less direct heat. Neither of these pieces of meat require an excessive amount of cooking. <sighs> they are both fairly delicate in their nature and texture. Steaks are half done. 
good. Sir. Yeah, those are the plates that'll be going on. We can just set them on there until the lobster tail's done. The tail may take a second longer. Starting to turn red. Yep, it's starting to turn red. I think this is a very good example of a well seared steak. Notice the delicious fatty textures have begun to caramelize. With the marinade, the delicious butter sauce we've used. We'll be dipping it in a lavender chutney sauce this evening. <laughs> the fire is actually very hot. Touching it with your bare hand, you will find this out. <laughs> Here, this is done. Right. Oh, yeah. Down. Give him a little bit of... Bit of direct heat, baby. Just gonna keep rolling. I think these guys are about done. Nah. I'll make this glove work. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit it right on top of the steak. I think we're completely cooked now, all the way through. You'll generally not want to grab these types of real food products with your bare hands. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Good. Right on. Hold that baby up there. Look how pretty that is. Dinner. Magnificent. All right. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, delicious. Mm, go look at the butter sauce. Oh, yeah. This looks phenomenal. I'm going to hit this butter sauce first. Yeah. Just to dip it in there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shit. Yeah, me too. Make it nice and easy. Great. Beautiful now. Hit that butter sauce. Butter and garlic. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Nice. That is so good. Oh yeah. Morning, day three. Danny's cutting up some firewood. We got breakfast cooking. We got pork steaks. Natural breakfast. And best of all, we got snow.